thrilled for, for today's class on music production just to turn it over to, to Christian Ramos. So without further ado, you've got the, you have the class, you drive, you've got. So yeah, my name's Christian. Uh, like I said, I went to MIDI last, well, I graduated last year. And uh, yeah, ever since then, I've been going to school at Foothill and I'm majoring in music tech. And yeah, I've been making music every single day. So that's pretty much what I do. <clears throat> and a couple hundred plays on YouTube. And over here to my right is a song I made with Ashley, Ashley Apostle. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys know her. She, she's also a MIDI alumni. She graduated the same year as me last year. And yeah, this song, quick little fact about this song is uh, I actually made it during Dr. Scott's class. Flying high without direction. Don't know what to do. I'm losing you. That's actually Austin's voice. Um, let me put this into a rack to show you guys the before and after. So you can do this, bring this into here, mute this. But yeah, that's him saying that. And what I did is I went in here, I went in here and I put all these effects on and it sounds like this now. going on here is pretty much a basic uh, low cut EQ and I cut out everything under like 200 hertz to make sure like there was no mud or like low end coming through because obviously you don't want that in the drop. The plugin that does like pitch stuff so if watch if I and I have the transpose the mode at transpose that way it doesn't really like change a lot like keeps it in key and I turned up the drive. So this is like the distortion side of the plugin. So if I put it to minimum, it doesn't sound crunchy, but if I turn it up, it sounds, it sounds crunchy. You can hear the grit. It gives it more like a uh, harmonics and uh, it brings the, the top end of this mix pretty well. And, and then you, I put a, yeah. See, I'll just mention, you'll see that with a lot of music production, a lot of the, the art of it is really, doing this filtering, you want to take out things that are going to clash with, uh, with other sounds. You know, a lot of bands will do that too, their electric guitar, they'll, they'll take out the mid range so, the, so that it doesn't clash with the singers. So this is yeah. a lot of your work is, a lot of the work goes into that. So all the stuff we learned about filtering with high pass and low pass, you can also do band pass, you can pay, take out particular places, either suppress a particular range or pass through a particular range. That's, that's all we're doing here and that is, huge amount of the work with, with production. So great, great, thanks.